Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna paint the um, the little sunflower that has the B. So get your canvas out, get your paint ready on your plate. You're gonna want a vessel of sorts for your water and just an assortment of brushes and paper towel in case you make any spills and to dry your brushes off while we work. So our first step is to do the background and we're going to do a very, very light blue. So just a little bit of blue, a little blue goes a long way and stir it in with quite a bit of white. So we make this nice pale, 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 light blue. And I'm gonna go in and just paint everything around my sketch. I'm gonna go around my little bee. Around my flowers. And it ran out, so I'm just mixing up a little bit. It might not be exactly the same, but that's okay. Close enough. And you can always go in and kind of work it in other places so it looks like it was on purpose. You had to make more. Kind of just blend this in a little bit throughout just so it works with the rest and looks like I did it intentionally. It's a whole lot easier to do that than to just repaint the whole thing over again so it all matches. It's the sky. When you look at the sky, you know, there's variation in color in the sky, so perfectly okay. Right, so I've got my sky done. Next I'm going to do, hmm, 
Let's do the leaves. I'm just gonna make a nice shade of green. I'm gonna clean out my brush. So I got my brush all cleaned out. I'm gonna make some green. So I'm gonna take a little bit of blue and stir it in with a lot of yellow. I've got this nice bright green. And I'm gonna stir in a lot of white. So it's okay if I take some of this that's got blue in it because I just put blue in the yellow to make green anyway. So it's not gonna hurt it a bit. Take a nice big old scoop of white and stir that in. I've got this nice bright green. And this, we are going to paint the stem and both of the leaves. So go right ahead, get your leaves and stems, fill in your pretty green. A little blue still in my brush so if you're seeing these darker spots that's just because I had excuse me had a little blue stuck down in my brush no big deal I'm just spreading it around get it on that one too so it matches okay so we are gonna add a little bit of darker green on and a little bit more blue stir right into some of your green color and I'm gonna take this just along the bottom. I'll do it on this one as well, right just along the bottom. And I'm gonna put a little line, like a little vein coming from the stem into the leaf. This kind of comes up around, so it's off the canvas and comes back up and finishes. Okay, so next we are going to do light yellow. And we are going to paint the petals of the flower and the bumblebee body. So I'm getting my brush nice and cleaned out, getting all that green out. So light yellow, I'm gonna take quite a bit of my white. So I want quite a bit of this color. I have a little blue in it from underneath. I don't think that little bit's gonna matter. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of yellow, stir that in. It was very little yellow compared to the amount of white. So it's this nice buttery color. And you're going to fill in all your petals on your flower and the little bumblebee body. Don't do the wings. You're just going to want to fill in the body. This could be a little bit more yellowy. <clears throat> Excuse me. You could have a little bit more yellow in your mix. I might even add a little bit yellow. He might be a little pale. Let me step back and look. Yeah, he a little pale. I'm going to make it a little bit yellowier. That seems good. 
And while that dries, I'm just gonna go over here and paint my petals. And then I'll put a coat on top of that. Cause right now it's just gonna blend in and it won't really make that much of a difference. And it's okay if you're a little messy. Especially in this middle part, cause that's just gonna get all painted a nice brown color. Okay, so I've got those all filled. Um, I'm gonna give them just a few minutes to dry, and I'm just gonna go in and do a quick little line in between to kind of separate them out. I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna mix in, let's see. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this burnt orange color here and just mix it in with a little bit of this light yellow, maybe more of this light yellow. I just want it to be slightly darker. So that should show up quite well. I'm gonna just go in, cover up that little pencil line that shows in between the petals. There. If you want to outline more, feel free. I'm just going to do that quick little bit. And you can make this as fancy as you want. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. Um, we're going to do the inside of the flower next. So I'm going to use this medium brush. I'm going to clean it out, dry it off. Mine's just very wet. And I'm going to make a nice brown. So burnt orange with about the same amount of black stirred into it. Makes this nice dark brown. So next, I'm gonna lighten it up. I'm gonna take a nice scoop of white, stir that in. And this is the color of the inside of my sunflower. Something about like that. And I'm just gonna come in and just fill in this whole inside of the flower. You can get all your pencil marks covered at this point. I'm trying my best to stay kind of smooth on my edges. So I have that, and while that's drying, I'm gonna work on my bee. So make sure you, well, let's do the wings. We're just gonna fill in those little wings with white paint, nice thin paint, try not to glob it. Just get little bits on your brush at a time. And you're just gonna fill in these little wings. Oh, I hate it when it happens. Eh.
just smoothing out any of my globs. If you do have big old globs, just like wipe them with your brush. And then once they're on your brush, just wipe them back on your plate on the side or on your towel, just to remove any excess paint so you don't have big old globbies. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of blue. Don't even need to clean out your brush. Just a little bit of blue on your brush, your little brush. And I'm gonna just kind of go right around the outside edge. And same on this one. Then I'll clean out my brush, take a little bit of white on it, and then just clean up my edge just a little. I can make it a little bit smaller and then kind of blend it. So this is just a tiny bit of white on my brush. Very little, maybe even less. All right, where I put that blue, I'm gonna go right kind of on top. Soften the edge just a little. Same on this side. Pretty. Now we can do black stripes on the body. You're gonna want your little brush cleaned out, dried off. I'm just gonna use a little bit of black paint. Very little on my brush. I'm gonna start with the head and I'm going to kind of make a curve line to make the head. So you can start just above where the wing is. Make this curve line and then you're gonna fill in the top. Right over top of the yellow. You do want to make sure your yellow is dry first. And just take your time. It is a little tricky. Then we're gonna skip a space and make a black stripe. Actually, let's just do the butt first and then we'll have one more stripe in the middle. This will help us keep the spacing even. So let's do the butt. And it's gonna be the same curve, it's gonna curve the same way so it comes down as a curve. So right where this other wing is, on the end, we're gonna curve and bring it around and fill in his little bee butt. And then we can make one more stripe right in this middle area, right between. Try to find the center as best you can. And I'm just gonna go with the width of my brush to start. I'll go right in the middle. And I'm gonna curve with the same curve. And then I can just adjust my thickness on either side to make my stripes even-ish. I just need to curve it just a little bit more right here. It got a little flat on me. Beautiful. Um, next I'm going to do like a little trail and I'm gonna use my very skinny brush and just some blue paint. Whoops, are you still in view? I kicked my easel. Oh yeah, you're good. So blue paint on my skinny brush, I'm not doing anything to it, just plain blue. And coming out of this little butt, I'm gonna make a curve line that comes like to here with dash marks. So just little dash marks. It kind of curves down like this. And I'm gonna bring it kind of down this way. down like this. I'm going to have it 
come up and to do a little swirl. And then I'll just bring it down off the side. Um, I'm going to put a cute little face in the sunflower. Feel free to do something else. You could just maybe put some of the burnt orange in for like highlights or shadows. I'm going to make it cutesy. And with my little brush and a little black paint, I'm going to put a little water in my black. So I just stir it right in off my brush. I just dip my brush in the water and then stir it right into my paint just to thin it. It just helps it flow a little bit better. I'm going to give my little sunflower some happy eyes. So I'm going to do like semi-circles. Yeah, maybe I might like this more angled. Do one angled. That one's kind of angled up. And I'll have this one maybe angled down a little. To help her look cheery. I need to make it a little bit bigger. Match the other one a little better. So I just like half circles. You could do eyes different shape if you want, however you want. You could do circles or something else. Let me give her a little mouth. And then I'm gonna paint in some cheeks. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of red. That's a crusty brush. I'm gonna use that brush. I'm gonna use my smaller brush, just not that one. Smaller brush, a little bit of red. I'm gonna paint right on top of the brown. It's not gonna show up super red. But that brown is gonna show underneath. And I'm just gonna put in some circles. Circle-ish. Give her some rosy cheeks. And you could do pink if you want. Change it up. And you just put a little bit of white in. Maybe make them a little bigger. Why not? Cute. So if you wanted them pink, you could just take a little bit of white. I'm gonna make them a little pink. Just take a, just a teeny tiny bit of white on my brush. And then I'm just gonna swirl it right into the red. So I think that they'd look better pink, personally. That red looked a little, a little blah. Go ahead and inside your name. I'm just going to do mine in a little bit of blue at the bottom. Maybe right down here. I need to lift my canvas up so I can reach it. And done. So take pictures when you're finished. I love seeing your work. And you can post them right on my Facebook page, Willy Nilly. I have you posted right at the top easy for you to find. Just upload them there. I love seeing them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.